sensors. Um, there will be shipping. And there will be shipping. Right. Uh, and you need a communication system to make sure that you are working with your satellite from the ground. But the thing is, um, that is not, yeah. So, so as Sat Revolution is a, is a manufacturer of CubeSats, we have all of this stuff ready made and available uh, for you. So, let's start off with the structure. So, uh, this is the, the materials and, and the description of our structures. Most of them in standard formats 1U, 2U, and 3U are available from us. Um, on demand, um, yeah. So we try to differentiate ourselves in a way that we we have most of the stuff available uh, at first call. Can we go to the next slide? Um, yeah. So these are the, the the modules that we provide as part of the satellite platform: uh, the onboard computer, the power system, the attitude control system, and the the radios. So all of these modules were um, have flight heritage in space. They work on the satellites. And on top of this, as I mentioned before, they are ready-made, um, and it's something that you guys can um, order and then use for your satellite project. However, uh, the key thing is that having those structures and modules in place, even at, at short notice, is not enough to launch your satellite. In order for all of this to work, you need to have software to run the satellite. You need to be able to program it. You need to assemble and integrate the modules with a satellite. You need to be able to test it. And then the big part comes uh, in the need to launch the satellite into the orbit. Uh, and after that, you need to operate it uh, with the ground station and, and send and receive the data from the satellite. So all of this um, can be, first of all, quite expensive. Secondly, quite lengthy. And uh, thirdly, might not be accessible given your project resources or the teams that you are running. So we know from experience that um, US-based uh, university teams have more access to resources. For example, they have lots of NASA programs where they can launch the satellite almost for free or free. But then again, you have to wait for this to happen. It takes years to, to get to jump on the rocket and generally not, not accessible to, to everybody. Um, who, who would like to do that. So in essence, and, and I don't know if Jagish mentioned this in the beginning, but <clears throat> you need to build a satellite in order to launch a payload and, and receive some sort of service. So uh, with the platform, with the software and integration, you obviously need to have your payload that needs to go to space in order to do something, whether it's a high resolution camera, it's a radio module that you're testing, it's your scientific experiment, or is, is, is another subsystem that you're working on. <clears throat> this is the payload is the, the key or the heart of the satellite that actually it makes sense to, to go to space. So <clears throat> given all these challenges with, with integrating, with launching and testing and operating the satellite, um, what can we possibly offer in this case? No, 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 go to the next slide, that's what I meant to say. Yes. So here's a simple solution um, to a quite complicated challenge. So since, since uh, a while ago, Set Revolution has been putting together a so-called shared missions um, on orbit. So we're working on, on the mission right now that will launch in December. And we've recently announced two more missions for the next year, which, is going, which are going to launch in June and December next year, respectively. So these are ready-made missions on the on our platform, which has already been into orbit, has flight heritage, and has experience to prove that it's it's space worthwhile. Um, they are prepared and complete in terms of the satellite structure and all the necessary subsystems that um, make the satellite work. And the only thing that you need to do is provide a payload that we can integrate for you, launch it, and operate it for you. So it's a very simple solution. Um, in terms of getting your experiment or your system into space, either for, for the experiment itself, for technical demonstration, for in-orbit verification, or if you have systems that actually work and then you need to provide service in space, but you don't have the project capacity or the funds 
in order to be able to complete the satellite mission by yourself, then this is a great solution for you. So of course, this sort of shared satellite solution is not unique on the market. There are other companies that uh, work in this area. However, the missions that we run, they are quite different because they are focused on Earth's observation technologies. So we have, as you see on the picture, and as you can, you can read it in the text, we have our own optical payloads supplied on these satellites. And the, the, essentially, these satellites are Earth's observation service provision satellites. So this is the key advantage for, for those of you or for those companies or student um, projects that are looking to work in the area of Earth's observation technology. So if you have high bandwidth, high speed radio that you need to test in space, or you're working on software that processes images on board of the satellite, this is an ideal solution for you um, to get your system into orbit and to try and test them and have them work in a real life scenario and not just in a simulation in space, what would happen if that would have been um, an Earth observation mission. So this is a, this is a unique um, differentiator and unique advantage uh, that we offer. And um, we receive a lot of interest uh, for, for that sort of service uh, from the customers around the world. So it's something to consider if you are looking to launch a payload but you don't have the budgets or the capacity to work on the complete satellite mission yourself. Yeah, I think this, this uh, kind of sums up um, the idea for today's webinar. So please let us know if you have any, any questions. Yes, there is a question. What is size of Im image of one of frame from CubeSat camera? That is a good question. I don't have the information on that uh, ready at hand, but I, this is available um, on our website. In the data we were in the data sheets of these missions, yeah. So please go ahead and check this out. That data is, is already online. Okay, so, um, and the clue for a little uh, prize giveaway competition. Alexander, we'll get back to you in a second. Um, uh, the the word uh, well, it's not a word it's just a bunch of letters for <laughs> you guys so l u t i o n l u t i o n that's part of the of the prize giveaway clue competition so please capture that if you if you would like if you don't know what that is I guess it's too late now but you can still change check out our website small size schedule page to see what's going on and now coming back to Alexander's question what is the size of a payload bay available in shared right. So um, can you go back to the screen with the yes. missions? So the idea is that we're launching a 3U and 6U missions. So the 3U will, will go out this December, which is already booked and packed. Uh, next June, where we still can accept external payloads, and then the 6U will go next December. So the 3U, of course, obviously has less capacity and space than the 6U but we can accommodate anything up to one and a half U, U of space. And uh, we know from experience that sometimes the payloads or the customers would say that they need more space than they actually do need, because you're thinking so many subsystems that are being designed, they have the enclosure, uh, the outside enclosure, which is not necessary in our platform. So we, our engineers have lots of experience how to accommodate uh, different sort of payloads and payload requirements. We have space inside for the PCB size payloads. We have space outside uh, for any sort of antennas or, or any sort of um, devices that or equipment that require to be outside uh, on a satellite. Uh, so that, I hope that answers your question. So on a 3U, it's up to one and a half U. Um, on a 6U, there's much more space available and, and we can fit I think almost whatever whatever you have in mind to launch with us, Alexander. So if you if you have any uh, any ideas in mind, you can get in touch and we can discuss more specifically. But also, this information is available again in the data sheets of the mission on our website, uh, which is available now. Great. Uh, so if that's it, we will conclude uh, the webinar. Thank you very much for joining, and we hope you have a great day. Bye, everyone. Thank you very much. Bye.